Hey everyone, Mike Crotch here, bringing you a quick install video of the Thornton Customs, the ultimate bullet button tool. Uh, this is kit A. Kit A is for uh, any magazine that has a removable uh, butt plate. So uh, all these are going to be AR-15 magazines, um, which uh, in California we need to have a bullet button, so this makes it a little more simple to have the tool already on your magazine. The, all these came out to 24.53. There's four in each kit, which makes 16. Um, I have, what is it, 13 magazines here. Um, picked these up from uh, Shooter Zoo. Saw them on Slick Guns. It was $59.95 for all five, plus a little bit of tax. They came out to $12.89 shipped each. Because Shooter Zoo was doing a free shipping for uh, for the five pack or eleven ninety nine plus shipping per. Besides that, I have another order here of three hex mags. All these are ten rounders. Um, so another three hex mags, which I got from Wise Tactical, along with these. Um, I only bought four. Check out. How, how it is. If I like it, I'll buy more. They have free shipping at Wise Tactical. They are uh, $9.99 for the followers in Zombie Green. And the magazines themselves came out to $11.99 each. And uh, with free shipping, Wise Tactical was a way better deal than the Shooter Zoo. Um, along with that, don't ask me how, but I have these Mission First Tactical, the standard capacity magazines which are 30 rounders also have a removable butt plate which is perfect for the kit A also have these two P mag the uh, Gen 4 uh, P mag 10s which I'll be installing the bullet muds in as well all right guys uh, these came out to $14.99 each which is a hell of a deal and uh, I'm liking these a lot. Only problem is I can't use them here in California, so they'll be staying in the safe for uh, shit hits the fan kind of a situation. Cool thing about Shooter Zoo, they sent this cool uh, target along with their product, so I'll be I'll be sure to blast that with uh, either the shoddy or uh, or the AR. Alright guys, install coming right up. So the tools that you'll need are, um, you got a 1 16th drill bit, you got a 1 quarter inch socket, just in case. Um, also have a little screwdriver. So what the kit comes with are these four plastic little bullet buttons, the screws to attach them from the back, and a couple of these washers which are only to be used if you're installing it on a Magpul. So for my purposes, we will not be using them. Real quick, I did say 1 16th, it's actually 1 8th. I'm sorry, so 1 8th inch drill bit. What it ends up looking like is this here, basically have a little bullet button on the end of the magazine. This is a PMAG 1030. It, it has a pin butt plate. So this is actually a kit B. Um, I bought, when I bought the rifle, it came with two of these from a, from a buddy of mine. So uh, either he bought them like that or he um, installed them. I'm not even sure, but this is what it looks like and for the purpose of this video for not to be too long I'm gonna do one magazine of each on video and then I'll show you guys all of them um, once I get them all done you'll need to start off by taking the butt plate from the magazine taking out the spring follower basically what we're going to do that's the 
back of the magazine. This is the front. So you're going to want to drill a hole right in the center of this little groove right here. It's not the most perfect hole in the world, but it'll do. You're going to take the little screw, put it through the back. Actually, it looks like I got to clean up that hole a little bit. Okay. Take the screw and insert it from the back. And then you just install the little the bullet button here, making sure to use a screwdriver. And what I'll do is just take the take the tool here and tighten it up. No need to tighten it too much you might strip it after you're done go ahead and put the follower back in and the spring put the plate back in there we go now it's done what I'll do is I'll put in 10 rounds make sure all 10 rounds go in nothing nothing is uh, impeding the follower from going down and that's it for the PMAG 10. On to the Mission First Tactical Standard Capacity Magazine. Has two of these buttons. Press one in, press the other, kind of help it glide out. Let's take out the follower. What we'll do here. is I'm going to put it right in the middle of these two. One thing I noticed about the MFT magazine, um, it's advertised that it's constructed with a unique DuPont military grade polymer, which uh, actually it, it felt a bit thicker going through. And it actually feels uh, a little nicer to me. Than the P mags, but anyways, put the screw in, put on the bullet button, and then all you do is just tighten it up. MFT is installed, ready to go. On to the hex mag. I'm gonna try and install it right up top right over here, right under that second notch. One thing I've noticed about these hex mags, it's a little bit more difficult to take the plate off, but still, we don't need any tools. You can do it with your finger. Also, these are true 1030s, uh, which means it has a smaller spring. And it also has a little um, plug here to kind of, it's a limiter, I guess, to limit from uh, putting all 30 rounds in. And without it, nothing will happen, which is why these are legal in California. And at the end, I'm going to take off these orange ones and put on one green one just so you guys can see how easy it is. After I clean it off, there. It's ready for the screw. Oh, man, these are a little harder to get in. Hold on, hold on. I noticed it was easier to guide in with the screwdriver. So, let's put the button back on. This thing will focus. There we go. There we go. And then let's just tighten it down. To put a green follower on, um, the plate kind of just pops off. 
Pop the new one back in. This one, kind of need a little bit of a help from a tool to kind of just guide that one out. There we go. Clip on the new one. It was, a, it was a little bit harder than I expected to do it on camera, but after I did it a couple of times, basically, you have this little, there you go, this little hook right here. You want to insert it this way. And then just put the hook, I used a screwdriver the first time, and kind of just clips in just like that. It definitely takes a bit of force, but it's on, good to go. does a decent job of not tilting and um, so that's it for the bullet buttons next next I'll show you when they're all done after doing a few of these I noticed a little trick what you do is take it and twist it off and then kind of just like a backwards put this thing in first and slip it on and slip it on no tool required took me monkeying around a couple of times to get that one but and then this one just basically slips on so all in all not the easiest thing to do but definitely not the hardest it's just time consuming and tedious you just have to make sure that the hole is straight make sure the drill is straight and uh, you're good to go and um, these are all the hex mags the three mission first tacticals the standard capacities got your two pmag 10s and two pmag 1030s I still have, I think it's what, three bullet buttons. So I might have to get three more magazines. <laughs> Alright guys, I hope uh, this helped some of you, mostly people in California. Uh, if, you, if, you, if you did like it, go ahead and like the video, share, subscribe. My channel is still new, but uh, I'm trying to get some videos that are helpful for people. Alright guys, have a good one. And uh, good shooting. My crotch out.